hi so far we have seen uh, problems in fourier transform now we are going to study about z transform uh, basically what is the difference between laplace fourier and z laplace and fourier they are continuous version so we'll be using that to solve uh, differential equation and coming to the continuous version what is the difference between these two i'll explain it when we study laplace transform okay so this z transform is nothing but a discrete version so it is useful to convert a discrete time domain to a complex frequency domain so when i say discrete version then we will be getting summation if i say continuous version just uh, recollect the formula for fourier transform we will be writing integration right so discrete version is nothing but summation so it is uh, the z transform is used in signal processing control systems and in finding frequency responsive systems etc and here goes the definition if u suffix n is equal to f of n for n is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc and u suffix n is equal to 0 if n less than 0 so it's only for positive values of n then z transform of u n is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity u n z bar minus n this is the notation z suffix t of u n also we can write this as u bar of z both are same so here uh, we'll be solving difference equation and we have a few properties and uh, basic formulas try to memorize the formula because we'll be using the same set of formulas for inverse also let's see the property coming to the first property z transform of n power k is minus z d by dz of z transform of n power k minus 1 we have to prove this so uh, we'll start with the right hand side and we will prove the other side so minus z into d by dz of z transform of n power k minus 1 so now we have to use the formula for n power k minus 1 so what is z transform of u n formula summation n is equal to 0 to infinity u n z power minus n so we are going to write minus z as it is d by z dz as it is and z transform of n power k minus 1 i am going to use the formula summation n is equal to 0 to infinity we have to write the function here my function is n power k minus 1 so i have written n power k minus 1 into z power minus n so now uh, the summation we are taking it out and we are going to differentiate this with respect to z so uh, n power k minus 1 is just a constant and if i differentiate z term that is z power minus n if i differentiate minus n z power minus n minus 1 all the other terms are going to be there as it is because we are going to differentiate only with respect to z so n is just a constant you can just keep it outside and z power minus n derivative is minus n z power minus n minus 1 now we have to simplify the terms group the terms together so we had initially one minus z in the beginning that minus and this minus in the end will become plus n and z into z power minus n minus 1 so this is z power 1 if i combine this together plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancel i'll get z power minus n and uh, n power k minus 1 this is n power 1 again plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled because we will add the power so this is nothing but n power k so we get summation is equal to 0 to infinity n power k z power minus n this is nothing but the formula for z transform of n power k so uh, remember the basic formula z transform of u suffix n is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity u n z power minus n in the place of u n i have n power k so this is nothing but z transform of n power k so we started that from the right hand side and we prove the other part so uh, this is the first property that is z transform of n power k is minus z into d by dz of z transform of n power k minus 1 now following this we'll be having some standard results and uh, these formulas we'll be frequently using it in the problems okay see the first one that is z transform of k power n that is z by z minus k this is the first formula we are going to prove this and uh, sometimes a basic proof they won't ask for the examination but this is a uh, general way of how to find the z transform of a function 
so if we know this then we can solve any problem so basically this is a formula z transform of un is uh, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity un z power minus n the place of un we have yes k power n so summation n is equal to 0 to infinity k power n z power minus n z power minus n if i bring it down it will become z power plus n okay so this i can write it together as k by z the whole power n now we have summation n is equal to 0 to infinity we are going to expand the summation uh, put n is equal to 0 anything power 0 so we get 1 and put n is equal to 1 k by z put n is equal to 2 k by z the whole square and so on this is nothing but our series right 1 plus r plus r square plus r cube so which series is that geometric series or arithmetic series find out that and uh, we know the summation is nothing but 1 by 1 minus r for the series the place of r we have k by z that's it just replace r by k by z so 1 by 1 minus k by z we will get it substituting that value and taking lcm so the denominator will become z minus k and this z will come to the numerator so z by z minus k this is the first formula that is z transform of k power n is z by z minus k add it to your formula page now we have uh, z transform of uh, 1 so what what's the formula that we have learnt yeah z transform of k power n is z by z minus k substitute or replace k by 1 1 power n is nothing but 1 so z transform of 1 is z by z minus 1 so we got this formula from the first one now let's see what is z transform of n here uh, the solution is z by z minus 1 the whole square how to prove this so we had this property right z transform of n power k is minus z into d by dz of z transform of n power k minus 1 so here we are going to substitute k as 1 if you substitute k as 1 what we will get minus z d by dz z transform of 1 minus 1 that is n power 0 anything power 0 is 1 that is minus z d by dz of z transform of 1 beautiful just now we got what is z transform of 1 this is nothing but z by z minus 1 now we have to differentiate this with respect to z and this is nothing but u by v format correct so this is the denominator keep the denominator as it is z minus 1 differentiate the numerator z so we'll get 1 minus write down the numerator z and differentiate the denominator z minus 1 we'll get 1 divided by denominator the whole square this is nothing but the u by v rule in uh, differentiation and uh, we have to just simplify this so z minus 1 minus z so this z and z will get cancelled and denominator we have z minus 1 the whole square this minus and this minus will become plus z by z minus 1 the whole square so what is the formula for z transform of n z by z minus 1 the whole square this is the formula for z transform of n similarly we can find z transform of n square also using the same property that is z transform of n power k is minus z into d by dz of z transform of n power k minus 1 now we are going to substitute k is equal to 2 so if i substitute k is equal to 2 what will happen uh, inside the bracket minus z d by dz of z transform of n power 2 minus 1 that is z transform of n just now we got z transform of n what is it z by z minus 1 the whole square just we have to replace it and differentiate it so same thing z transform of n power 1 so just now we got z by z minus 1 the whole square again u by v rule keep the denominator as it is z if you differentiate 1 minus keep z as it is z minus 1 square if i differentiate 2 into z minus 1 and then we have to take z minus 1 common from the numerator so denominator power 4 is there right that and this will get cancelled because z minus 1 the whole square the whole power 2 so we get a power 4 in the denominator simplify the numerator and you will get the answer as 
z square plus z by z minus 1 the whole cube so add this also to the formula page so so far we have learnt four formulas correct what are they the first one is z transform of k power n z by z minus k from that we derived z transform of 1 z by z minus 1 and then from that we derived z transform of n z by z minus 1 the whole square by using the property which property z transform of n power k is minus z d by dz of z transform of n power k minus 1 again by using the same property we got z transform of n square that is z square plus z by z minus 1 the whole cube similarly we can derive z transform of n cube we can take down the formula as it is and that is z transform of n cube is z cube plus 4 z square plus z by z minus 1 the whole power 4 ok so uh, if you notice uh, z transform of n denominator square will be there z minus 1 square z transform of n square denominator z minus 1 the whole cube will be there so n cube is z minus 1 the whole power 4 again try to recollect the numerator z transform of n numerator only z will be there here z square plus z z transform of n square for n cube three terms will be there that is z cube plus 4 z square plus z so here again no need to differentiate again and again and find it so better for using it directly these uh, formulas better to memorize it so z transform of n n square and n cube add it to the formula page and here comes another important property that is nothing but damping rule that is if z transform of u n is u bar of z this is the notation correct then z transform of k power n u n is u bar of z by k if, that is if i know the z transform of the function u n i can guess the z transform of k power n u n just wherever z is there replace it by z by k that's it these properties makes our problem very easier to solve it's like no need to substitute the formula from the beginning and solve it same way z transform of k power minus n u n is nothing but u bar of k into z again i repeat if i know z transform of this function u n i can guess the z transform of k power minus n into u n so u bar of k z and uh, find the z transform of k power n into n they are asking this so now i am going to use this damping rule what is that i know z transform of n just now we got it so i can guess what is z transform of k power n into n correct so we are going to use the damping rule that is z transform of k power n u n is u bar of z by k in the place of u n we are using this first property in the place of u n i have n so what i will do i will write the z transform of n and wherever z is there i'll replace z by z by k i repeat i will write this z transform of this function here z transform of n u n is nothing but n i'll write z transform of n and wherever z is there i will replace z as z by k so what is z transform of n we got that as z by z minus 1 the whole square just now we have derived that so z transform of n is z by z minus 1 the whole square so this is r u bar of z i'm sorry this is r u bar of z z by z minus 1 the whole square therefore z transform of k power n into n is wherever z is there i am going to replace z by k this is what we have written z goes to z by k so z by k divided by z by k minus 1 the whole square now denominator z by k you can take it common cancel these two so what we will have 1 minus k by z the whole square and again you can take lcm and simplify it so we will get yes um, so this z by k here whole square is there one more z by k is there if i take lcm z minus k by z the whole square so denominator one z square will be there 
and here one numerator z is there okay so this z square will come to the numerator this z and this z will get cancelled so i will get k z one second yes now you can see so z square and z will get cancelled so i'll get k z in the numerator and in the denominator z minus k the whole square so z transform of k power n into n is k z by z minus k the whole square what is the advantage it's like z transform of n we use the formula and we derive the answer here since i know z transform of n i can guess z transform of k power n into n so if they ask this uh, problem for um, say 7 marks then what we have to do we have to derive z transform of n and then we are going to use the damping formula okay so this is the formula z transform of k power n into n is k z by z minus k the whole square since we have solved that now we can find z transform of k power n into n square so if i know z transform of n square i can find z transform of k power n into n square so what is z transform of n square we got this as z square plus z by z minus 1 the whole cube this is z transform of n square so wherever z is there i am going to replace z to z by k so uh, we have written the formula for uh, z transform of n square that is uh, z square plus z by z minus 1 the whole cube wherever z is there i am going to replace z by k so z by k the whole square plus z by k by z by k minus 1 the whole cube again here we are going to take z by k common in the numerator so we'll get z by k plus 1 and in the denominator we have already z by k minus 1 the whole cube correct so here if i take z by k common the whole cube so what i'll get 1 minus k by z the whole cube or you can simplify on your own and finally we get the solution as z transform of k power n into n square as z k into z plus k by z minus k the whole cube so this is just an example of using damping rule the denominator actually i want z minus k format that is why we have taken z by k common here so here if i take lcm i will get z minus k by z the whole cube so z minus k whole cube we can keep as it is denominator z cube that you can take it to the numerator and simplify try to simplify on your own just check these steps that's enough so uh, this is the solution k z into z plus k by z minus k the whole cube so again if you want to find z transform of k power n n cube means we will write the formula for n cube and wherever z is there we will replace z by z by k so this is one damping rule similarly we have another damping rule also so let's see that in the next class thank you